Hi, I'm Steve Friedman with Rockstar Excel. Today I'm going to show you something most people have no idea Excel can do. You can use Excel to research things from external information sources and then fill in facts on your spreadsheet without you having to look them up yourself. Let me show you. I'll type in some random country, say Slovakia, then on the data ribbon where it says data types, I'll select geography and it puts this little folded up map symbol here next to Slovakia and adds this little list looking icon here. So I can click on this icon and it gives you a bunch of different types of information here. Some of it is common information like you've got capital city and you've got GDP and population. You've also got kind of obscure things like physicians per thousand and market cap of listed companies and tax revenue percentage. So let's just go ahead and pick GDP here and let's go ahead and change the column size. So here it just goes out and tells you Slovakia's GDP and you didn't have to go look that up. You can also get data on a lot of other things like if I put Tesla here and select stock, it opens up this little data selector thing because there's a couple different types of Tesla stock, but I'm just going to pick the main one on NASDAQ. And then it changes it to the official company name and gives you the stock listing. And here I can click here and I can choose things like market cap and PE ratio and then the ticker symbol and there's also beta and where its headquarters are, the last trade time. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the market cap here and then you see that Tesla is worth more than five times the GDP of Slovakia. I can also say put in spleen and then select anatomy and then there's a bunch of information here that stuff I don't understand but presumably means stuff to biologists and doctors but I can select function and then that tells me that a spleen removes abnormal blood cells and other blood components stores iron recycled from red blood cells and initiates immune response or I can type George Clooney and then instead of picking a specific data type, I'm just going to click automatic and it recognizes that George Clooney is a person. And then it gives me options here like date of birth, height, notable film appearance, net worth, his parents, and things like that. Uh, so I guess George Clooney's worth half a billion dollars. Good for him. I'm not going to go through all of the different things Excel can find for you because we'd be here all day, but if you just scroll through this list here, you'll find there's stocks, currency, geography, anatomy, animals, chemistry, cities, locations, medical, movies, foods, terrain, people, plants, space, universities, and yoga. And then within those, there's literally hundreds of different types of data you can go out and find. Now, you may be thinking, why should I do this in Excel? Couldn't I just find this information on Google or Wikipedia? But remember that the power of Excel is that it lets you do many things at once. So here I have a list of US states and I can just highlight the column here and select geography. And it takes a couple seconds, but it changes these into the geography data type. And then let me just click on Alabama and I'm going to select population foreign born persons percent. And then I can just double click here to fill that down. And now I've got a list of the uh, foreign born population for every state in the US. And it only took me a couple of seconds to get that. And I didn't have to go 
look up on Wikipedia for every state or Google and go through a bunch of different websites trying to find this and find it for each individual state. It just took literally seconds to find this on Excel. But now, once you have this, you can actually take it to the next level. And this is what gets really impressive. So one of Excel's graph types is a map. So you can just highlight these two columns and then go to the insert ribbon and here do maps and filled maps. And now you've got this heat map here that's showing the U.S. with the states by foreign born population. And it took literally seconds to create this map from scratch. Now I want to do another example. So let me just paste the list of states in here again. So to show you just how quick and easy this is, I'm going to create another map showing the percent of population aged over 65 and time exactly how long it takes to make. So I highlight the column and I go to data geography and wait a couple seconds. And then I'll just click on Alabama here and I do population age 65 and fill that down and then I need to label this column. So let's do age 65 plus. And then I highlight these two rows and I go to insert maps, filled map, and I'm done. And that was it. And you know, starting from nothing, having no data, it only took the amount of time that editor Steve has put on the screen right now for me to create this heat map. That is just how easy Excel can make things for you. That was how to find facts and make heat maps in Excel. Once again, I'm Steve Freeman with Rockstar Excel. Please like and subscribe and check out rockstarexcel.com. You can sign up for our newsletter for tips on Excel to make your life easier, submit questions for a future video, see our upcoming classes, and book a free consultation to learn how we can save you time and money. Thanks for watching and stay tuned so that we can help make you an Excel rock star.